A topic similar to the derivatives, but not exactly the same, is the average rate of change of a function. So remember that the derivative gives you the slope of a tangent line to a graph, otherwise known as the instantaneous rate of change, the slope at one point. The average rate of change, on the other hand, is a slope between two points, and a slope between two points is something you've done many times in your life throughout algebra. It's just delta y over delta x. Now, if we have some function f of x, and you're asked what is the average rate of change of f of x on the interval a to b, all you need to do is do delta y over delta x. Well, this is like your x1, this is your x2, and to get the y1 and y2, all you have to do is plug them into f. So your average rate of change is simply going to be equal to f of b, y2, minus f of a, y1, over b minus a, x2 minus x1. This is exactly your slope formula, and the average rate of change is simply asking for the slope between two points. So just keep in mind that the average rate of change, they're always going to have to give you an interval, because it has to be between two things, whereas with your derivative, the instantaneous rate of change, you're only taking it at one point. So that's a, one way you can always tell if you're going to do the derivative or the average. If you're given one point, derivative. If you're given two points, average. So this is how you calculate the average rate of change of a function.